This could be our last goodbye, our last goodbye, she never told me why. This could be our last goodbye, oh I won't meet again. We watched her breathing through the night, through the night with a candle burning bright. She couldn't get to sleep that night, she won't have that problem anymore. My bathroom looks like a crime scene now, blood on the floor and the walls in the loo. Let's hope they never find her body or I'll be a dead woman too. Sagan? Yes? Out of sheer curiosity, do you know what Meta's name translated to in the Badyan? The Badyan? What are you talking about? Yeah, in the Badyan. It means toilet, which is randomly insulting. Huh. The Badyan denizens have no reverence for those of the demon realms. They probably don't care. But yeah. How are you both doing? I'm a little confused as to why you approached me to inform me that my partner's name is randomly insulted in another language. You can blame the fact that I was having a nice drink to myself. Not an adequate excuse, jackass. I don't like to share my drinks either. Why are you here? Because alcohol helps me build that slight amount of confidence that I like to tell people things I find funny that others might not. If others might not find it funny, why do you want to build up the courage to tell them these things? Because I've lacked said courage all my life. Fuck off and die, you useless cunt. Seriously. Huh. You know, I wish I lacked the courage to annoy and repel people. Oh, it's quite easy to develop. Just become a general asshole. Sadly, I'm not that bad. Go jump in a lake and sober up. Stop bothering us. Oh, there are many different kinds of assholes. For example, there's the asshole that randomly pesters people when in an altered state of mind. Pwned. There's the assholes that lengthen lines at the DMV. Yeah! There's assholes that pretend to comfort someone who's going through a rough patch in their relationship while secretly hoping they won't get back together so that they can bone them instead. You're getting good at this. And there's asshole teachers that don't care about their subjects. I fall into the first one since I've got more than one spirit. You also fall into the third one, brain trust. But they hardly bother me. Oh, but they bother me. Ah, I see. Apologies. Hey, does anyone else get the impression that when Joe says apologies, he's not really apologizing, he's just saying it because he doesn't want to be in trouble? Anyway, let's see what's going on with Anita's dumb shit friends. Shameless awkward transition! Thank you for taking what was special to me, Lassie. Hey, it's okay, it's okay, you're welcome. Nothing to say to me now. Speak to me. Whoa, speak to me. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> exactly. What would you like me to say exactly? I mean, I have a word or two for her. Yeah, I have three words for her that amount to a friendly travel recommendation. That for you to decide. Seems you had plenty to say earlier. You're the one who decided to pull back before he even made his choice. He told us honestly and upfront exactly how he felt, how he knew it was unfair to us, and asked us both to give him a day or two to think things through, and then he'd give us both an answer. I still say he should have stuck with his initial answer. But people are allowed to change their minds. Maybe in the upside down demon realm from which you hail? You assumed that meant he would automatically choose me. Which, to be fair, he should. A real man stands by his decisions. More importantly, why is Anita giving Ty shit right now for backing out? Isn't that what Anita wanted? Because Ty rage quitting took attention away from Anita, probably. Oh my fucking god. I was prepared for the possibility he might choose you over me. I wasn't, because then I'd have to hear about it. You're hearing about it either way. Because I made him wait out on a relationship with me because of my fears and insecurities. Which, credit where credit is due, is actually a very mature decision. Yeah, yeah. What about all the other guys Anita jumps into bed with at a moment's notice and then expects them to take care of her forever? If you ask me, she's just as inconsistent as Jay is and they deserve each other. I came at you directly. Come at me, bro! 
and let you know where I stood and exactly how I felt. I used no underhanded methods or anything. You asked if she had feelings for him, and then when she didn't answer, stated that you didn't care and you were going to go after Jay anyway. You don't call that underhanded? If he thought you could make him happier than I could, I would accept that and be happy for him because I love him. And I want the person I love to be happy, as that's what matters most to me. Which is why you blatantly told Ty you wouldn't back down from Jay even if she liked him and framed asking her how she felt as just curiosity. When she says, the person I love, she means herself, right? See my previous comment about respect. Well, somebody has to love her. I don't see how anyone else could love her, so she might as well love herself. Same. He's been summoning my life for several years now. Good God, how could he stand you? I'm so happy to have met him and I have grown to love him. As birth another human being, shun the human! The humanity! It burns us off! A little over the top, don't you think? I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, Anita doesn't suck because she's human. I mean, that's part of it, but mostly she's just awful. And as a man. I don't take no crap from anybody else but you. I wear the pants around here when I finish with your laundry. Cause I'm a guy you don't want to fight. When I say jump, you say yeah right. I'm the man of this house when you're not around. Fuck that song. I bet you would if you could. You deserve happiness as well. You really do. Amber Sweet says happiness is not a warm scalpel. Let's test that theory! Technically, that's a hypothesis. Technically, I don't give a fuck! I believe that with all my heart, and I'm sorry this resulted in heartbreak for you. I'm sorry for how things turned out. Is it just me, or is she humble gloating? Yeah, I got that impression too, and I'm getting a definite pandering vibe as well. Man, it's refreshing being on the sidelines. But I honestly don't know what else I can say to you at this point, or what I can do. I have a few creative ideas! Yeah, me too. I've got some ideas, but they're not creative. For example, she could shut the fuck up and get the fuck out. Here, here. You've always asked me to be honest with you. And yet, you chose not to when she asked you how you feel about Jay. Hell, she probably would have backed off if you'd said, I love him. Please don't ask him out. It's literally that simple. Do you want me to do that at Carento? Why wouldn't she want you to do that at Carento? Oh my god, the trap it is. When you ask us both if we like the other, I didn't say because it was personal and it was something special to me. Thereby shooting yourself in the foot. Can we, like, skip the guilt trip and move on? I'm disappointed in you. You've been on the show long enough to know the answer to that by now. I set up the well for the first time in a long time. I mean, I could help you with that. Get to sleep that night, she won't have the problem anymore. Not exactly what I had in mind, but it'll work. I'm sure we all know what you had in mind. Yeah, you're right, I shouldn't share my prescriptions. It's hard enough getting refills as it is. I told my sister I was happy and the reason why. You know, you should be happy for no reason, like a child. Because if you're happy for a reason, that reason can always be taken from you. I can't remember who said that. It's true, I haven't known him as long as you have, but we clicked, which is a rarity for me with anyone. Yeah, rare, not impossible. This sounds like your tough nuggets, honestly. <laughs> be fair, Sin. It's not unreasonable for Ty to grow attached to the per first person she clicked with in the who knows how long, and then be upset when he's taken from her by Anita. <laughs> Besides, didn't you say you shipped them? I do. I'm just grumpy that she's resorting to guilt tripping Anita when, given Anita's track record, Ty could just as easily wait for the relationship to crap out on its own and then soup in smelling like a rose. Well, I think Ty's allowed to be too emotional to consider that angle at the moment. Oh, she's allowed to feel however the fuck she wants. No one's saying she isn't. You're not? No! But just because she's allowed to feel her feelings doesn't mean I'm not going to be annoyed by her short-sightedness. I didn't want something I held so dear to me taken, and 
I didn't want to hurt a friend either. How is it hurting a friend? If she asks you if you like him, it might have actually backed off if you said something instead of being cagey. Do we really think Anita would have backed off, though? Ellipsis. That's a good point, but I'm still frustrated with Ty's lack of forthrightness earlier. Knowing Anita, she still would have found a reason to cause drama, and I understand that Ty might have been caught off guard, but I personally believe one should always speak one's mind. For example, right now, I feel annoyed that we had to sub in Olibris and Akuma for Epiphany because she's out sick. How do previously living persons even get sick? I don't know. I said I was sick of this shit too, but OBD didn't give me the day off. Okay, fine. She's on strike. Does that make you happy? She couldn't deal with the wreckage of Ty's accent and rage quit the studio. I'm not any happier about this than you are. See? You could have just been straightforward with me. I'll take us some potpourri and a hundred American bucks after work. <sighs> take two hundred. Wow, you really do want her back. Maybe she was afraid of the consequences of speaking her mind. It's not unreasonable to think Anita wouldn't have respected her feelings. Man, we are really getting high-roaded. And by a cumin, no less. Like Lee said, it's fun to be on the sidelines. Indeed. You push it, and push it, and push it. That's not how I remember it. Although it is in character for Anita. Even when given an answer by me, you continue to selfishly push, seemingly not caring who you hurt in the process, so long as you had a chance. WRONG! FAKE NEWS! YOU DIDN'T ACTUALLY GIVE A STRAIGHT ANSWER! Even though you said you wouldn't back down unless he gave his heart to me, which I told you he did. Yeah, but you're not exactly the most reliable source of information since you would have had something to gain by lying. Now both he and I, who are happy, Less than 12 hours ago, are both hurting. Put some ice on your ego and suck it up! Although she does have that effect on people. Feel like I've been sucker punched. Walk it off! Relatable! I feel my heart shattering. Up, two, three, four! I've been crying for hours on end, wondering if they are ever going to stop. Drop down and give me 50! Sir Lena, knock it off! Okay, jeez. I feel betrayed by a person who I called a friend. Yeah, and as a friend, she tried to ask you if you wanted to be with Jay. You refused to answer. Now suffer the consequences. And again, I got the feeling from Anita's reaction that Anita wouldn't have respected Ty's answer either way. Yeah, well, we'll never know now, will we? I wish Ty had spoken up sooner because then Anita wouldn't have a leg to stand on and she could just go jump on the next dick in line. I understand. If I was in your shoes, but has the roles been reversed? I wouldn't have destroyed your happiness. Ugh, I'm starting to get flashbacks to Stepford Academy when Mrs. Mimei told me not to flaunt my relationship with Cryptic after he dumped Callie for me. Even though everyone involved knew that I liked him first and she'd asked him out behind my back. Hey, I have a question. It's starting to sound like Anita demanded Jay never talk to Ty again. Is that the case? If so, it happened entirely off screen, but I wouldn't put it past her. It's the only way Ty's line about destroying happiness makes sense, like if they couldn't even be friends now. I would have been happy for you, boss. Your reaction right now is directly contradicting your words. You should really work on that. As for the reason I backed off- Backed off? You flounced off the stage, complete with sound effects, which I provided! I know he's hurting, and I don't want him to be. He's a grown-ass man, right? Can't he tell us himself if he's hurting? I was already feeling like I was in the way. Well, well, baby Akuma wants attention. <laughs> nice. Nice? Are you kidding me? Try listening to the unironic version of that for a stupid thousand years and see how nice you think it is. That's a swift change in attitude. I got bored. It took him a good 30 minutes to get me to believe I wasn't. You know what's bereaved right now? My ears, my sense of sanity. All those things are bereaved right now, okay? Even though you're clearly insisting on being an interloper, Ty. Then this happened. As my good friend Meadow would say. Ma! Hey, you're pretty good at that. Now I don't know what to say.
stare to him or react around him because I want to hug him, I want to snuggle him and kiss him to cut him rub, to tear him I rub him. Glug. And right now, none of it is appropriate. Hashtag score drop. Mm-hmm. 